Hey guys, I ran across this story on TikTok. I wanted to share it with you. It's regarding a young man named Javion McGee. Um, I wanted to give you a sensitive warning. He was found unalived in North Carolina, but the story is close to home. He is from Chicago. So take a listen, share if you can to help this family. Hey y'all, I would have never thought I had to make this kind of post on my TikTok, but my family desperately needs your help. Um, this is my little cousin, Javion McGee. He's from Chicago, Illinois. He was 21 years old and would have been 22 in a few weeks. Um, he was found hanging from a tree in Henderson, North Carolina yesterday. Um, he drove trucks, so that was his reason for even being out there. The police officers are trying to say that he went to Walmart and purchased the rope and hung himself. We obviously don't believe that, and we are just asking for your help to push his story out there. There's no, there's, this isn't covered on any local platforms. No news stations, radio, none of that. So we're trying to push it out there. We really need your help. The um, police officers in the corner of corner's office are giving us a hard time, um, not allowing his mom to identify the body. Um, at one point, they told her um, she can't identify the body due to COVID. And then the next day, today, they told her um, the father has to give her permission for that, which he said that he would. She asked if they could send her pictures, at least. They told her yes, and then turned around and told her, oh, I don't think that you want to see your son like that. Come on, like this is just just this is just very devastating for my family, and we really, 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 really need to push this story out there. So if y'all could please repost this video, keep saying his name, Javion McGee, um, hashtag Justice for Javion, and we are gonna fight for him, and we are standing behind my cousin one hundred percent, and they not getting away with this. So please, hey y'all, I would have never thought I had to make this kind of post on my TikTok, but my hey you guys um first and foremost i just want to say thank you so so much for the endless amount of support and love that y'all have shown Javion today and my family um we really appreciate your support um and we really hope that you guys stand with us throughout this whole entire process um i didn't think that the video would you know spread like that but we do appreciate it we needed it to be heard and y'all did y'all job so thank you so much um secondly I just want to say I'm not the spokesperson for my family. I am not the one to reach out to for interviews and, you know, podcasts and things of that sort. Um, so I cannot do that. Um, but I will say that um, Javion's parents, they they're working they're They they're talking to the right people. So um, I won't be providing any updates at the moment. Um, I just wanted to let y'all know that I just wanted to get his story out there so y'all can stay tuned and just follow the story and um, if and when I'm able to provide some updates I will so thank you again so much for your support. I wanted to share a couple of more videos it is kind of alarming that she can't really share more information I wonder what happened like regarding the investigation but a press to this family so let's go to a couple of more tiktok influencers who share Javion's story and what possibly has been going on within the last 24 hours 21 year old Javion mcgee was a truck driver who had just gotten his cdl in june of 2024 he drove trucks throughout the summer and was on his route when on september 11th he would stop by the city of henderson north carolina for his delivery a short time later, his body would be found hanging from a tree behind a local truck stop in the area. Now, the local authority have been very evasive with the family, stating that he apparently had gone to Walmart and bought the rope, which he later used to end his life. However, the local coroner's office will not let his mother view the body, initially citing COVID as the reason. But then they later told her that the father has to give permission for her to be the one to come and identify the body. And he said that he would. She asked him for pictures in the meantime, and they told her, okay, fine, we'll send you pictures. But then they allegedly told her that, no, the pictures are too gruesome for you to bear, and we just don't think that it's good to show a mother pictures of her son in that condition. The story hasn't been covered in any of the local media, and the family is trying desperately to spread the word. Hashtag justice for Javion. This has caused many people on social media to hit up the Henderson Police Department. So they released a statement on their Facebook saying, yesterday there was an investigation on Vanco Mill Road by the Vance County Sheriff's Office. Since this morning, our agency has been mentioned in some Facebook posts about the investigation. I want to be clear, this incident did not occur in the city of Henderson. 
nor have we had any involvement with the investigation. Apparently, the area on Vanco Mill Road is just outside of city limits, and the Henderson Police Department only governs the city of Henderson. The Sheriff's Department is the one that governs the county of Henderson, which means the rural areas outside the city. Well, not the Henderson County, but Vance County. So apparently, Henderson County covers a completely different area in North Carolina. I need the Vance County Sheriff's Office to come with some answers. Stat. It's already going to be hard enough for a family to believe that their loved one would take themselves out in this manner. Okay, no family wants to believe that. But given the historical context behind black people in America being hung from trees or from bridges, etc., there is a sense of urgency to ensure that we thoroughly investigate just what happened. My question is, why make it that much harder on the family? Being evasive, making it difficult to view the body, making it difficult to identify the body, making it difficult for the family to get answers in the first place. Why make it an uphill battle? See, now what you're going to get is backlash. Now you're going to get outrage, and now we're going we're gonna to blow this story up to where it's national media attention. Because y'all won't do right. Y'all are making shit ten times harder than it needs to be. This is already a tragic situation. We need answers, point blank, period. Answers should come in the form of the security footage from the Walmart, showing him walking into the store, purchasing the rope, going to the checkout, walking out of the checkout with that rope that you guys said he bought to allegedly end his life with. We need that receipt showing that he had purchased that item. We need footage of him walking out of the store with that item. We need footage from the truck stop, showing him headed into the wood line behind the truck stop. We need these things. In 2024, you should be able to provide these things. If it's happened the way you guys said it happened and there is no foul play involved and this is a tragic case of a young man taking his life, then show us the evidence behind that. If you don't want uproar, if you don't want terror, if you don't want people coming to you guys and flooding you all with all this stuff, do right by the families of the ones lost. Period. Whether this man was unalived or took himself out, I do want to say rest in peace to Javion McGee. I hate that your life ended at just 21 years of age. He would have been 22 in a couple of weeks. Um, my thoughts and condolences are with your family through this horrible time. And I pray that you get justice and that your family get some much needed answers and that the communities come together and shower them with outpouring love and support during this tragic time. Rest in peace to Javion McGee. Hashtag. Justice this is Javion McGee, a 21-year-old man who was found hanging from a tree in Henderson, North Carolina. This young man was a truck driver from Chicago, Illinois, and he was in Henderson, North Carolina in order to drop off a load. Instead of being able to complete his job and go back home, he was found hanging from a tree. And in classic police fashion, they are trying to blame his hanging on himself. And this is absolutely being suppressed because there is only two news articles about this at all. And these two articles up top are the only news sources for this. Everything else you see is from social media. They are trying to cover up the lynching of this young man. So we got to make sure that they're Justice not in. Justice for my friend, Javion McGee, 21 from Chicago, Illinois, will be 22 in a couple of weeks, was found hanging from a tree in North Carolina. They tell his parents he went to Walmart and purchased the rope himself and did that won't let his mom come identify his body, saying she got to get permission from his father, saying she would rather, like, telling her that she wouldn't even want to see him like that, that she would rather get pictures. You people are fucking sick, and that is wicked. I hope his family get justice, and the fact that I grew up with him and I know him, like, walk around the corner to his family house is crazy. Everybody in that shit North is Carolina, sick. I need boots on the ground. This is a call to action. You guys are up. This is 21-year-old Javion McGee. He was uh, driving a truck. He was in Henderson, North Carolina. Something happened. They found him hanging from a tree. Now, you know how I am when it comes to stuff like this. We won't answer. According to the family, Javion was there for work as a truck driver. Then all of a sudden, something happened, and he found hung from a tree. We don't play that, and we want answers from everybody there, especially the sheriff's department there, because they're trying to give the family a runaround. Now, according to the family, his mom has been trying to get down there so she can see her son. The sheriff's department will not let her see him talking about, oh, due to COVID, we can't let you in. We know that's a bunch of, I ain't going to say the word. Also, according to the family, the sheriff's department down there, that's the chief. The sheriff's department down there is saying that he went to Walmart, purchased a rope, and he did it to himself. No, we're not playing that. No, we are not.
He was found less than a mile from his truck. How did he get in a tree? We not playing that game. And since you are saying that he went to Walmart, purchased the rope and did it to himself, show us proof. Show us video proof. Make us be quiet. Show us proof that he did this. And why won't you allow the family to come see their son? Are you going to try to cremate him? Are you going to try to get rid of evidence? So we calling on the police chief, Marcus Barrow. Now, the only Walmart that I saw in that area in Henderson, North Carolina, is this Walmart right here. It's on North Cooper Road. Then I started researching to see what truck stops are there where truckers can go and relax. Checks Truck World is there. We need video footage. And these places right here, 85 Truck Plaza, Raleigh Road Enterprise, and like I said, Checks Truck Stop. These three right here are where I would start. I did look around their buildings on the uh, satellite. All of them have cameras. So somebody knows something. Henderson Police Department in North Carolina, what are you trying to hide? Who are you trying to cover up for? Because we're not falling for the okie doke. This is a new time. Chief Marcus Barrow, we need answers. We need them fast. We need them quick. We don't need no cover up. We sit up here trying to hide from the mother. Or are you trying to hide information and evidence from the mother, from the family? You telling the ME not to answer any questions? I need everybody to share this. We need news stations. We need public eye on this. I did see where the family is trying to get a hold of Ben Crump in order to try to get some type of information, try to get something stopped. I personally don't believe that he's going to take this case because it doesn't fit his criteria. But if you know it, I'm an attorney, private investigators, all this stuff in that area, let us know. We're going to reach out to the family. We need to get answers and get them quick. Again. Hey, you guys, just want to give you some of the context to the story and people thoughts. We will be keeping the family in our prayers and I'll keep you updated as the st story develops. Um, justice for JVI.